Beautiful, isn't it? Hi, this was the beginning of a wall, a prelude by DBC, built almost entirely on the hexatonic scale, one of the DBC's favorites. Today's idea is precisely to understand how we can work in a simple way on this scale, recreating those somewhat mysterious and ill-defined atmospheres, typical of this scale. But first of all, what is it that makes the scale so indeterminate and particular? Let's see it on the keyboard. Scales generally have an alternation between the degrees of tone and semitone or more. So, for example, the major scale is and we have tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. The harmonic minor scale, on the other hand, is and we have tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, one and half tone, and semitone. This alternation between tones, semitones, and even a tone above creates tension and distension. The hexatonic scale, instead, has only tone intervals. Tone, 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 tone. This means I can start from any notes and it's always the same. And precisely because it is always the same. It never has any end point or resolution. It always remains suspended, creating precisely that effect that for some can be mysterious and for others extremely relaxing. To start working on this scale, I suggest positioning your hands like this, with both thumbs on the D and the other fingers Position it in a mirrored manner. Now, holding this fixed position, I begin to play first as a scale. And then I slowly try to play, alternating the notes. Remember that the use of the pedal plays a very important role in this type of music. To become more fluent, a few simple exercises. We play two notes with the right hand and one note with the left, like this. Now the opposite. 
two notes with the left hand and one note with the right. Change and now three notes. The opposite. Four notes now with the right hand. And to finish, four notes with the left hand. Now let's put it all together and try to improvise. It's no longer necessary to play the notes in scale, but I can jump around as I like. Now I change the position of my right hand and start my scale from C. The fingering I recommend is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The same for the left hand. We start with the C and I have one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, and five if we decided to stop. Okay, this is the first step, and we will immediately feel a new flavor in our music. Now try playing some B chords and then some chords, obviously always choosing from those six notes. First two notes. Or. Then even three. Or.
Now, I don't play all three notes at once, but one after the other, like an arpeggio. Or now no longer three but four notes, basically repeating on the first one. So we have or we begin to have a lot of material. But the last thing I want to add is very simple. An octave in the bass. Which simply resonates like a pedal. And now, starting from Debussy's piece, let's try a short improvisation. That's all for today. I hope this video was interesting and inspiring. If so, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to comment or suggest, I'd be happy. Thanks for watching and see you at the next video. Bye!